Alright, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to give out all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem. Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rokakadash. Okay. And uh like to give out double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. And uh, much blessing to you, brothers, at their labor and in truth and sincerity. Okay. Uh, as we all know, uh, breaking news. Uh, pretty much um, UK, France, and uh, the US have gone ahead and they fired uh, missiles at Syria. Okay. And uh, pretty much. Uh, And uh, pretty much uh, the other outlet, uh, news outlets, the ones that are back in uh, Russia, like RRT, they're saying uh, this whole thing was done uh, illegally, okay? And uh, pretty much they're saying uh, they broke international laws by doing so, okay? But Theresa May has done, made a speech uh, saying they were justified in doing what they did. And what they did, uh, <clears throat> they aimed particularly in uh, da Damascus, where they're saying uh, 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 Syria uh, research researches and uh produces uh the chemical weapons and what they're saying is uh they pretty much uh, took away his ability his ability uh, or Syria's ability to uh, to uh, to create those chemical weapons man <clears throat> which in reality is yeah it's a uh, it's a uh, it's, 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 it's you know it's foolishness it was fo it will it will be foolishness for uh because uh, what they're saying is, other news outlets, what they're saying is that uh, Syria has been winning the war against ISIL, ISIL or the rebel forces over there in Syria. Okay, so they're saying, uh, then why why would it be, while winning the war, then they would, they would, uh, they would, uh, they would uh, go ahead and use chemical weapons when they're already winning, they, they, did not, they had no need uh, to use those, uh, those chemical weapons in that war. Why would they go ahead and use chemical weapons in Syria? Okay, when they're winning the woman. Okay, but in the end of the day, it's all the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, it's all the Heavenly Father, pretty much, uh, you know, doing his thing, man. Okay, that's why Scripture says, pray and watch, man. Okay, the only thing, the only job that we have to do, man, is learn the word and go and teach, man. And then the Heavenly Father does everything else, man. Okay, because the word of the Heavenly Father will not go avoid. The prophecies are going to come to pass. America will be destroyed. Okay, the, the nations are going to go into the Third World War. All right. Um, it's Isaiah 13 and, and 4. Okay, it's going to concentrate on the word that says, uh, The Lord of hosts, Master of the Battle, it says, uh, Isaiah 13 and 4, it says, uh, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of the nations gathered together, Yahweh of hosts, master of the battle. Now let's look up that word, master, master, okay? <clears throat> okay, uh... It's a Pakad, I believe, Pakad in the Hebrew. And it says, uh, it says to attend to, to master, to number, to reckon, to visit, to punish, to appoint, look after, care for, okay? It says to pay attention to, observe, to attend to, to seek, to look about for, to seek in vain, need, miss, lack, to visit, to visit upon, to punish, to pass in review, to master, number, to appoint, assign, lay upon as a charge, deposit, okay, to be sought, to be needed, to be missed, to be lacking, uh, to be visited, uh, visited upon, appoint, to be washed over, man, okay, so uh, pretty much, uh, the, uh, the other one says that to be overseer, be entrusted, okay, so the Heavenly Father, pretty much, he's uh, he's the overseer of this uh, third world war, man. He's he's uh, he's he's the one, pretty much. It's like it's uh, it's like a chess game, okay. But the only difference is the Lord is playing. It's like he's playing the chess game on his own, man. Okay, he's the one that's moving the pieces where the where where they need to go, okay. Because eventually, uh, if you uh, because the scripture says uh. You know the, the you know the word of the Lord will not go out void, man. So he's the one that's he's 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 the one that's putting the, the the chest pieces in place, okay, as though he was playing himself, man. So every piece, so every move 
that's been made is the Lord that's making that movement. Okay, he has his angels around that's making these different kings do what they're doing. Okay, in order to uh in order to fulfill prophecy, man. Okay. Uh this is uh Proverbs twenty one and one says a king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh, okay. As the rivers of water, he turneth it wheresoever he will, man. So the Lord is the one that's making these kings make the moves that they're making. Okay, these are different leaders round about him. I'm saying kings because Teresa May is on, uh, in that position of a king, man. Okay, even though she's a woman, but she's in that position. Okay, even though whether there's somebody who, uh, who tells her what to do or not, she's still in, in that position, man. Okay, she's backed by men, regardless. Okay, so either way, the, the Heavenly Father is the one that's making these different kings make the moves that they're making okay in order for them to fulfill prophecy man okay um let me get uh i had it here already it's uh need to go second day was name chapter Just bear me a second, okay. Uh, let's read just you know, because you this thing, this uh particular app, I need to look for the app with the uh, apocrypha on it. Okay, this is a second Esdras a nine and one. It says, "He answered me then and said, measure, measure, thou the time diligently in itself, and that when thou seest part of the signs which I have told thee before." Okay, so what uh, what was the instruction to Esdras? Man, measure the times diligently, man. Okay, because uh, how do you measure the times, man? You looking, you look, you're watching of what's going on, and you, you know you're, you're you know you're running it, you're running what's going on uh, through the scriptures, man. Okay. Okay, you're comparing what the Lord have said and what's going on, man. Okay, because that's how you measure the times, man. Because now you know, you say it in verse 2. Verse 2 says, Then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And a part, a part, of, a part, of, a part of the signs that the Lord, a part of the signs that the Lord told us that is we're coming up to that time is a... Uh, is uh nations rising up against nations man uh rumors and rumors of war man okay uh this is a Matthew 24 Matthew 24 and 6 it says and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet Okay, so all this, so all these things that's going on right now, okay, uh, wars and rumors of wars and so on and so forth, man. Okay, they are part of that part of those signs which the Lord is saying us to measure, man. Okay, to look for, to look for in the scriptures. Okay. Um. Let me get a uh, revelation. So a part, uh, part of that, uh, the uh, the uh, the other, the other, the part of the signs and wars that we're looking for, okay, is that uh, that third world war, man, okay. This is Revelation 11 and 14, it says, and the second war is past, and behold, the third war cometh quickly, man, okay. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking to see how the Lord is gonna what is what the Lord is gonna how the Lord is gonna set up these different nations, because we know for a fact is it that uh, the different nations. Are gonna they uh, they all these Edomite nations they're gonna come up against Babylon okay they're gonna come up against America so we we are watching because right now UK UK France and America they they had a joint coalition in bombing Syria okay so a part of part of the signs that we're, we're looking for is to see what's gonna how the what the Lord has set up in for these different uh, for these uh, allies of America to uh, for these allies of America to come against America, man. Okay. Um, let me read this particular scripture in my mind. Let me see if I can get it. Give mm, me a second. Uh, 
anyway, I can't, I, you know, there's this particular scripture that's in my mind, but can't exactly f- think where it is right now. But uh, I'll close out with uh, Habakkuk. Second chapter says, uh, This is uh, Habakkuk 2 and 1 says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and I will watch to see what he, says, what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run the video field. Because the scriptures right now, they're being made plain, okay? Uh, the scriptures are being made plain, okay? Uh, by way of the prophets, man, because the Lord have put a, 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 a spirit on particular men in order to uh, to pretty much uh, break down what these scriptures mean, okay, and give it to the people out there, man, okay, but the people out there, they're not taking heed, okay, the people week after week, video after video, they're being warned to what's about to come, okay, plainly, man, okay, this, this you know, it's, we're not, you know, we're not doing this secretly, it's, you know, pretty much openly out there, man, okay, on the internet, anybody can just log on using their phone or the computer and see what the, the things that the prophets are speaking about, man, okay, so the, the, the visions that be, they've, be, they've been made plain already, okay, I'll just give me one second, so like, yeah, yes. Right, so he says, uh, Salaki says, Habakkuk 2, he says, uh, verse 3, and he says, uh, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, okay? So, everything, all the all the different prophecies have an appointed time, okay? When they shall be f- fulfilled, he says, but but at the end it shall speak and not lie, man. How will it speak, man? Because the, vis- the, the, uh, the visions are going to start coming to pass, okay? He says, uh, though it tarry, wait for it, man, because certain prophecies they might seem they are far, far off. Okay, like World War Three, the chip. Okay, we've been speaking about the chip for many years. It seems like they keep, uh, for whatever reason, this at least they keep delaying it right now. Okay, because you know they still have to get everything else in order. Okay, it says uh, though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Okay, so you know eventually, okay, eventually these are prophecies that are gonna come to pass, man. Okay, so you get guys, you get guys, man, that are. You know that uh they'll they, you know they'll 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 listen in for a short period of time and then they'll see when they see nothing is going on you know then they start doing their own thing man because uh you know they think uh it's, they still got a lot of time to go man because right now we know uk and these different nations uh they're gonna uh they're gonna come against america but then when you see them working together man, you think to your mind uh you think to your mind that okay the, you know there's still the, you know there's still a lot of time to go man but it can all, everything can change overnight man Okay, this is Ezekiel 12 and 27 says, Son of man, behold, they, they of the house of Israel say the vision that he seeth is for many days. So that's what they say, man. You know, that's not going to happen in our lifetime. Okay, a lot, of, a lot of people like to say that, man. If you talk about, uh, you know, the end of the world and so on, man, everybody thinks it's not going to be in their lifetime, man. Okay, it says the vision that he seeth is for many days to come and he prophesieth of the times that are far off, man, because just look at the IUIC, man, okay, they're, be, they're building that, they want to they build mega churches, okay, they want to build the IUIC in a university, and brothers have, you know, I've not seen the video yet, yet and brothers have spoken that IUIC want to buy a private jet, man, okay, because why, because they do not believe that, uh, you know, that the Lord is on his way, man, okay, it says, uh, they do not believe that the Lord is on his way and that these things are going to come to pass very soon, man. They still think they still got another 50, 20, another 50, 100 years, man. Okay. It says, therefore say unto them, that saith Yahweh power, there shall, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith Yahweh power, man. So none of the words, so eventually, man, it's going to happen. Once it, once it starts to happen, man, it's going to be one after the other, man, right? Left, right, and center, man. One prophecy after the other, man. Okay, because everything is gonna be rushed quickly, man. Okay, it's gonna be haste. As soon as they, as soon as they elect are sealed, everything's gonna come to pass, man. Okay, as soon as because you know major prophecy, two major prophecies that are left are the mark of the beast and the world war free, man. Okay, and then eventually, man, you know, in the midst, in between those things, man, all these different things they're gonna start happening. Okay, so the Lord is not, the Lord is not gonna prolong His words. Okay, so very soon, man. Okay, very soon that third world war is coming to pass. As you can see right now, 
okay all the chess pieces have been have been set in place man okay until everything until everything is ready all right and uh with that man i'll say uh shalawam okay hasten the day man